This conference will now be recorded. Initial demo session. Uh, maybe you just try to see the video because trying to combine all of them into this one will be a problem. But anyway, let me just give you know demo come day, day video. Okay, so basically for all the people who already joined previous demo and who joined uh, this session, they might be already knowing it. And so basically for the new pe uh, people who already joined, what is Pega? Anyone who want to share their inputs? Anyone? What is Pega? Or maybe you know anyone who joined first time in this session, what is Pega? You can unmute and speak, not an issue. Okay, very good. Somebody gave an answer saying that uh, you know I'm not taking names intentionally. When I say somebody, don't worry. Um, by using by using web page, we can develop an application. Fair enough. It's a BPM tool. So basically, Pega, I don't know how many of you might have heard, it is a low-code platform. Low-code platform. So when I say low-code platform, right, basically, low-code platform, it doesn't mean that, you know, don't assume that, you know, uh, there is no coding don't assume that there is no coding coding is still there but what is happening is pega software is writing code for the ui based configurations we you know ui based configurations performed by developer okay when I say a low code platform, of course, you know, the, the same definition might be changing when we go to other BPM tools like Appian, uh, Salesforce, uh, SharePoint, etc, etc and all. But for Pega, this is the definition when we say low code platform. Pega software is writing code for the UI based configurations performed by the developer. Maybe let me show you a simple example because I don't want to bore the people who already joined previous demo. So I'll just simply go there and okay so just like you know one of the students who told that you know by using a browser or a, we can do the development this is a example this is an example where i'll i i i'm showing a ui screen and i'll be making some configurations or maybe just to give a quick glance i'm creating a screen for example let's say user interface and then section Maybe let's say company details because for a personal details I already use. So company details or let's keep it as experience details. Why, why I am giving these values? What, uh, what is the intention behind giving these values you know, in this uh, areas? All those things we will be discussing when we start the actual sessions. Okay, experience details 001. So create. So this is the tool this is a tool inside this particular tool what we are doing i just created a ui basically i just added one field maybe here i'll just simply add 
see whatever that i am telling is for demo purpose only i did not i am not starting any concepts okay even though this is considered as day one class i am not starting any concepts so basically what i want to show in a browser basically what i want to show in a browser i did some configuration and i created a ui in front of all of you and where i am capturing a company name okay again in a browser in front of you i made a configuration to capture one single field maybe gps infotech okay here my question is did i write any code new students can you can anyone answer did i write any code you can speak out not an issue no then what did i do i did not write any code what did i do basically what did i do is i just drag someone un unmuted go on speak okay so basically what i did is there are some predefined options just like how our word document excel sheet powerpoints some predefined options are there here i just dragged and dropped and did some configuration okay again going back to my statement configuration see this statement configurations this is what i mean when i say configuration here actually if you see ui based what is this this is a ui this is a ui based configuration and here if you see after doing this configuration in the back end if you see if you see a view at some this is the xml file that is generated by this is the xml file that is generated by pega when i did a small configuration like taking one field as a input taking one field as a input so basically this justifies my statement as pega is a software pega software is writing a code for the ui based configurations performed by the developer okay so that is the definition of low code platform at least from pega point of view any confusion please feel free to ask a question or you can ping in the chat box just i'll just give one or two minutes over there okay silence is taken as everybody is clear so yes pega is a low code platform we just saw a simple example you know that uh, we are going to discuss wide variety of uh, scenarios when we talk about the you know when we come into sessions but yes this is a simple example i did not write any code i did not write you know basically if you if, if even if it is non technical people also i think they might be knowing java i did not write any java code or i did not write any html code or i did not write any sql code no i did not write any of these codes i just simply used a browser chrome browser whatever that we generally use to uh, access internet and i did some development that's all so this is the meaning of low code platform okay and it is also called as bpms tool it is also called as bpms tool what is a bpms tool what is a bpms tool maybe can someone tell me what are the steps that are there in a passport application okay apply passport just simply apply passport verification printing and delivery okay so no matter how many passports are issued in india no matter how many passports are issued in india these four steps are common am i right to say am i right to say yeah of course maybe there may be some other uh, situations where uh, of course this is not the full end to end but yes now let's talk about a personal loan personal loan process so apply online or from bank bank verification basically in verification what they do Empl employment verification 
employment verification and they check your background also that means like maybe civil background etc and all so they check your background and finally disperse money disperse money so that means like determine loan amount and then they, they just simply disperse money so here actually if you see no matter how many personal loans approved by any bank in india or any other place these are the minimum steps that they do and this is the sequence they follow remember they always follow the sequence it's not that you know they give money first and then they ask you to apply no that is not the case even for passport also they will not deliver you first you have to apply first basically here sequence is also sequence is also having importance so if you see what is this called application am i right and what is this called an application so now i'm making a statement for bpms any application any application any application which has start and end and which follows a sequence can be termed as bpms application okay any application which has a start and end meaning here if you see what is the start apply passport is the start and what is the end delivery is the end and in the personal loan apply is the start and what is end disperse money is end okay so i'll come to that so this sort of nature any application which has this sort of nature can somebody tell any other application as an example from your day to day life you might have to, uh, to, uh, did so many things any any other example maybe if you want to speak you can speak no problem any other example something in this order okay go on don't worry the see insurance claim application if you try to write steps you will be able to write date of birth application even for aadhar also there is a you know aadhar application bank account opening application opening application okay so uh, maybe vehicle claim you know vehicle registration application land registration application all these are something which we are doing in our day to day life i believe every one of you might have done at least one of them or maybe credit card application credit card application so basically if you see all these are applications and every application will have a beginning you know that means like step 1 and there will be ending step 4 you know step 4 or step 10 or step 20 or step 100 it doesn't matter there will be a beginning and there will be a ending so all those applications are called as bpms applications okay so now coming to the full form of bpms business process management system okay so if you see what is this what is this if you ask me i will term it as business process of giving loan am i right business process of giving personal loan okay if you see what is this business i mean basically if you see business process of issuing passport you know maybe of india government india government what they are getting yeah maybe they are getting some money out of it or they are giving unique identities to everyone it doesn't matter but that is the business process okay and here actually if you see business process management 
what do you mean by management i'll just show a simple uh, thing so the same examples whatever that i have discussed here if you try to represent them in pega basically see i am creating a case type in front of you i am creating case type remember passport application okay why i am giving what i am giving all these things we'll be discussing in the subsequent classes so for now just simply see what i am doing doing all you have to observe is whether i am writing any code whether i am writing any code okay that is one of the observation that you should do okay so here if you if you see this is a passport application so basically i am writing this see submission i am adding a stage verification verification issue okay so here actually if you see what did i do the entire passport application process you know all the steps i categorized into three groups first group is submission second group is verification third group is issue okay again here fill online form okay then here add process basically in the verification i am going to do maybe house verification and maybe employment verification etc etc and then issue basically i'll just simply do uh, you know print delivery so if you see in front of you in front of you what i did i tried to represent i am using very simple words if anybody has any confusion just let me know i tried to represent entire passport application process in three different stages and also if you see if i want to move this like this yeah i can do if i want to what do you say delete one of this i can do okay if i want to move this like this yeah if i want to delete this completely yes i can do by using this one so basically what i am doing here by using this browser i am able to manage i am able to manage a business process that is a term that is mentioned here as a business process management system bpms okay of course bpms has a little bit more uh, definition that i will give you a couple of references for you to read and understand but in short in a layman words this is what is business process business process is anything which has start and end and which happens in a sequence anything which has start and end and which happens in sequence and what how do we manage by using pega by using you know bpms tool you know it may be appian tool or it may be salesforce even they might be having their own ui something in this order okay but now actually if you see i am able to manage the process is where actually it is called as business process management system okay so any confusion with the word business process management system any confusion with the word business process management system okay so yeah so now actually if you see we have learned two new words you know when we say low code platform we understood what is low code platform and we also understood what do you mean by bpms we also understood what do you mean by bpms okay so now again let's try to see something you know when we say how pega is different when compared to the conventional programming languages so now actually you know in the previous example i did not write any lines of code oh maybe this one yeah i did not write any lines of code 
actions and I'm just simply seeing a preview. All this, see, this is the preview. And if you see the backend code that is written by Pega, this is the code. Okay, I did not write any of this code. I just did, uh, what do you say? Uh, the the drag and drop things and I, it, it, it was written automatically. So now you tell me, I will give you two scenarios. Which one is going to be faster? That means maybe let's say, you know, my name is Ram. Ram manually writing the code or Ram using a BPMS tool, BPMS tool to create the UI. Now, someone, can you tell op which option is going to take, which option you will prefer and why? You can unmute and speak, no problem. Which option you will prefer and speak? Sorry, uh, option B. Okay, so in the option B, if you see, maybe our advantage is less time, less time. Okay, and I was able to deliver for, you know, uh, basically less cost. How less time is equal to less cost? It's like maybe uh, you are ca you are calling one uh, person, you know, maybe you ask me to build your house. Okay, I'll take six months and every day I will take 100 rupees. Uh, maybe I'll take 100 days and I will take every day 100 rupees. So that one, that one will be 10,000 rupees. And if there is other people, if there are other people who builds it in 50 days, obviously you will give to them because they are less cost. Same way, even in Pega also, not in Pega, in a general software industry, less time is always considered as, you know, less time to develop applications is always considered as less cost. You know, hypothetically. There are many other things which I did not consider here, but hypothetically, yes, less time to develop is considered as less cost. And as a developer, you know, why it is, you know, you, you, are, you are a developer and why you are willing to learn Pega. Okay. Why you are willing to learn Pega? Basically, at least I'll tell you why I learned Pega. I was trained in Java in my, what do you say, the initial, uh, back in 2011, I was trained in Java in my initial days of company as a fresher basically. And after that, I got a chance to work in Pega. And after started working on Pega, I came to know that I don't need to write a code. Write code. I like this, okay, because my friends are there who will be continuously sitting lines and lines of code, thousands of lines of code every day. I don't need to do that. That is the reason I, 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 I for a developer, this is going to be interesting. Then I have good opportunities. I have good opportunities. That is the reason a developer might be pref preferring Pega. And also, also currently, Pega is the best performing tool, best performing BPMS tool. Thereby, it gives a guarantee of at least five years of career. Maybe, you know, after five years, I can't guarantee, you know, because nobody can guarantee. At least five years of career for sure is there in Pega, starting from now also or maybe after six months or one year also. Minimum five years of career is there. This is the reason a developer will be choosing Pega too. Okay, and again, why a company will be choosing it? Basically, they will be choosing because of these two factors mainly. Because let's say you are a manager to a project, you are manager to a project, your first intention is you want to complete the project fast because you can save money. You don't really care whether that person is working for 10 hours or 20 hours as a manager. No, you don't really care all those things. 
but you want to complete it fast tega is one such tool which is which is going to help you to achieve that kind of delivery speed that kind of delivery speed and also if you see Pega is widely accepted by you know now mainly it is used by big big companies like HSBC, okay. Uh, even uh, um, Amazon is also having Pega inside them, and many government projects. I don't know how many of you know E Pragati, E Pragati, Andhra Pradesh government project is purely built on Pega, purely built on Pega. So, like that, so many uh, big, big initiatives are taking Pega into consideration. That is the reason, actually, it is a foolproof career for a developer. Okay, so this is the reason, actually, why Pega? It is a low code platform, it is a BPMS tool. We understood, we clearly understood what do you mean by BPMS tool, and we clearly understood what do you mean by low code platform, and why a developer and a company is going to be uh, loving this platform okay after this now this is about why pega and now new terms basically since this is a day one class basically new terms is what is the id called you know maybe everybody will be logging into gmail right what is that id called what is that id called anyone okay you are calling it as gmail id right or maybe somebody will call gmail login id okay same way facebook id linkedin id etc etc and all in pega this kind of id is called as operator id operator id operator id is nothing but a unique id a unique id using which a developer log login into system okay so now i'll just simply try to highlight the terminologies that i have introduced today because at a later point of time See, these are the three new terms that I have introduced today. And of course, application. Everybody know what do you mean by application? Maybe if you are using IRCTC website, that is called as an upset a web application. If you are using you know any bro any make my trip, uh, if you are using Redbus or if you are using Flipkart, I don't say. Uh, if you are using any bank system, HDFC, SBI, whatever websites that you are using, they are called as applications because applications intention is developer is going to add new features end users like you and me are going to use those features for my personal purpose for example i'm going to use neft transaction to send money to a friend okay i am going to use recurring deposit feature to save some money in the bank so all these are features which is developed by a developer so every application will have Every application will have two people. One is developer. What is this fellow's job? Add features. And end user. What is this fellow's job? Use features. Okay. So in Pega, how this application is represented, how this application is used, all those things we will see when we come to the actual classes. Okay. So, operator ID, application, and BPMS tool. Okay, now, here actually if you see, when, to, when we go into this particular tool, remember, 
there is an application here d01 i want you to observe this once d01 so i'll just simply log off and i am logging in ram 001 and password is install of course i'll tell you how to do the installation setup etc and all i am again going into d001 maybe i'll sh i'll show something else you know i'll log off kumar 001 and password is install okay i am seeing a different application i'm seeing a different application so when i logged in with ram i saw d01 when i logged in with uh, kumar i am seeing people bank so that means the pattern what we observed is when a person or when a developer is accessing system accessing system application is predefined application is predefined okay so that means if you see ram is seeing d01 application kumar is seeing people bank application people bank application how this is possible basically if you call this in security terms it is you know in software it is called as mapping okay this particular action is done by a concept called as access group okay another new term i'll just stop here because i don't want to introduce too many things access group what is access group in a simple way access group maps a configuration a configuration which maps a configuration which maps developer to his application is called as access group another term another new term and you know another new term and how it is going to be so all the blue icons whatever that we have discussed here all these are new terms okay so any questions in the new terms you know before i proceed further operator id application low code platform bpms and access group any questions you can unmute and speak not an issue because after this i have to go into the non technical part of you know what, what can you expect etc and all maybe i'll help by unmuting all okay so i take silence as no and now actually here if you see log off ram 001 password is installed i am seeing the application d01 where is this mapping there let's confirm operator id see at the bottom there is a small circle icon and i'll open operator now here actually i am saying this is the operator id configuration this is how operator id configuration will look but why should you trust me okay or trusting is a second a secondary how should you identify what configuration you are looking at how should you identify as a developer or as a you know pega person how should you identify what configuration you are looking at see here in the header you know basically in this particular view or in this particular configuration look in the header there is something which tells you what configuration you are looking at operator id operator id maybe let's see what is the configuration that is there for the ui rule that we just simply created see 
can someone tell me what is the configuration type here where did you observe section section okay now maybe i'll open another thing what is the configuration type application application okay so now if you see going forward whenever i open any configuration view you know any of these things i don't need to tell you okay what is that configuration type basically when i open this you yourself are going to determine that this is a operator id and you yourself are going to do determine this as a section and your yourself also going to determine this as application same way it applies to every configuration whatever that i open in pega okay so now actually here see i am calling this as configuration i am also calling this as configuration i am also calling this as configuration okay now in pega this so called configuration is called as rule in pega this so called configuration is called as rule maybe let me tell you you know let's let's try to understand this rule in a different perspective go to the tool so here you know we will see here what did i do inside this what did i do i went to data capture i dragged and dropped something and i double clicked and i configured something okay i configured something so basically i'm just simply saving okay i did some configuration and i just simply saved now i will see the preview company name and city company name and city now i am asking a very simple question okay it may find funny also why city is not coming on top of company name why city is not coming on top of company name anyone because that's how it's placed it's placed at the bottom of company name correct so can i can i say that in a different way that i have configured it and basically i have given a instruction to pega saying that whenever this configuration is executed you have to execute in the sequence basically set of instructions okay set of instructions or in a way configurations okay so the set of instructions or set of configurations in pega terminology is called as a rule basically a rule will not have only one configuration it will have multiple configurations for example if you go and see this particular application rule it has so many configuration see i can add something here yeah i can add something here i can add something here okay there are many tabs i can do you know i can check this checkbox i can uncheck this checkbox so many types of configurations are possible each configuration is nothing but a instruction and the in pega that is called as rule a rule is nothing but a collection of configurations or maybe to keep it in a simple words collection of collection of singular configurations okay so going forward whenever i say rule please don't get confused i'm not going to refer it as configurations anymore okay rule so without knowing you know in like 20 25 minutes we discuss different different terms i'll just simply try to revisit them low code platform new terms actually low code platform bpms operator id rule application so five different new terms or maybe you might be already knowing this 
but yes generally i start with terminology okay so of course anyway i just took it as y pega but yes this is a terminology so like this there will be another terminology session where we'll be discussing some more things before even we talk about installing the application okay so any confusion with this five different terms that we discussed today i'll stop here because initially i don't want to bombard so many things low code platform you know you should not be having confusion okay whenever somebody say low code platform many people have an impression saying that okay there will not be any code there won't be any code no that's not the case code is still there but it is not written by you okay not only pega any other bpm tool code is still there without code nothing is going to happen but it is not written by you bpms anything which has a sequence and start and end bpms operator id the general login id what we use you know it is a sim in pega it is called as operator id okay yeah i'll come to that <clears throat> so rule and application so now to the people you know who joined uh, this particular session for the first time you know for our for the existing people i already told mm -hmm. see in pega actually different levels of uh, experiences are there one is csa cssa and lsa okay so this particular fellow will be having two to four years of experience this particular fellow will be having maybe let's say three to any number okay because there are people who doesn't write any lsa at all this fellow minimum to minimum sits to any number okay my training is going to keep you in between this here actually you know trans student so this is a indirect answer to you how many years you can keep in your resume okay you can keep your resume two to three years or two to four years not more than that because the number of years you are going to keep in your resume is, is going to be equivalent to the toughness in the job and the toughness in the interview so be safe side keep it in this area and my course duration will be my course duration will be like uh, 30 to 35 sessions every day 45 minutes and uh, remaining 10 to 15 minutes i will leave it for uh, q and a's questions and answers or if somebody did something you know they practice it something they want to show me and ask etc etc 30 to 35 sessions and regarding the job support you have to speak with prakash because i am the teaching part of it he is the administrative part of it okay so yes see when i say cssa level my course basically my course curriculum it has all the topics maybe if you see this particular curriculum this particular curriculum has all the topics whatever that are used in project yes it has cssa level concepts also okay but knowledge wise remember i am using my words very carefully knowledge wise you are going to be placed here why i am not saying cssa level you need a practical experience boss let me be frank here you need a practical experience okay no institute don't worry even if you are paying one lakh also don't trust that particular institute who is going to say you are going to get practical experience from them what i am going to do is i am going to give you assignments i am going to give you assignments what this assignments will help you to do is see i logged in into dool into sorry into this tool and in front of you i configured this without anybody telling to me because i know how to configure it i know how to see the output because whenever a requirement is given how to build it how to understand whatever that is already there 
So basically that is called as project in software industry. You will be able to do that without anybody's help by completing my assignments end to end. That one I guarantee. If you don't do this, fees is returned. Okay. So very simple and straight. Okay. Then, yeah, your resume preparation, your certifications, etc., etc., and all, you can speak to Prakash. He's he's expert in that area. Okay. Any more questions? Generally, we limit ourselves from speaking so many things in the what 